Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In this week's vlog, we are actually starting it out in Coronado. It's Friday, by the way, and my mom had an appointment for her doctor here, and because it's kind of far for her, I usually drive her to her appointments. And I figured that I was gonna take a half day today so that I could take her out to lunch afterwards since we're in the area. And so I decided to bring Aiko with me because there's a park by the doctor's office. So while I wait, we're gonna go out for a walk and then hopefully we can go to lunch at this place called Little Frenchie. I made reservations for 12.15. It is currently 11 o'clock. So I'm hoping that her appointment gets done on time because if not, we're gonna have to figure out where to go because I have Aiko with me. So our selections are limited when you have a dog. Anyways, right now, we're just gonna go out for a walk and I'll take you guys along with us. 10 minutes till I wake up Phone rings, but I stayed up You're probably doing makeup You and me, we were made for the breakup At least that's what you told me At least that's what you told me But you've been running circles all right, we made it at Little Frenchie. It was um, a little journey getting here because Aiko did not want to walk. She's over here. What is up? It is the next day. It's Saturday and I'm actually headed out to Macy's because I am filming some content tomorrow and it's for a bedding company. So I need to find some cute pajamas. I have some that look okay, but ideally I think I want a better set. So we're gonna head out to Macy's to see if we can find any. But this is my outfit. I am going literally like chill today. Also, if I sound sick, it's because my allergies are crazy right now. I'm not sick, I'm just have my allergies. And then also, I am actually using the internal mic for this camera, for this whole vlog, just to kind of see if I can get away with it uh, because I feel like it's more discreet. This little fluffy thing here is for wind, to block out some wind noise. But yeah, let me know if it sounds okay or if you guys prefer previous vlogs and how my voice sounded there. So they finally operated our gate for the community, but it is so slow getting out. <laughs> like, I'm hoping they can make that quicker because I'm watching a full-on movie as I wait. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. I can't for the life of me find the pajama section. Well, where's the pajama? <laughs> the heck? Okay, I think I found some. Oh, maybe I could do a robe. Hmm. Alright guys, we're actually done shopping. Uh, I stopped vlogging because I'm running a little bit late. It is already 11.42 and our brunch is at 1 o'clock. So we have to leave at 12.30. So I'm rushing home. I'll probably do the call maybe when I get home from brunch. But I got a few things. I ended up going to H&M as you can see from the previous clip because I feel like the fit there will be better than the pajama set that I bought at Macy's. I think I'm still gonna keep that one because it's comfortable. It's just not the fit that I want. It's a little bit more on the baggy side. I also stopped by Barnes and Nobles and got a couple things. So I'm gonna do a haul with that. <sighs> Ooh, dusty. <laughs> Hi again. So it's been a couple days since we last chatted. We were shopping in the last clip, I think. And I just wanted to do a quick haul of the things I got, but let's start out with Barnes and Nobles. So because some of the stores weren't open, I went to Barnes and Nobles just to hang. And I ended up buying a couple books slash magazines. And they had this cute rainbow tote. It's a canvas tote, it's cute. I'm not really into rainbow sort of items. Low-key hate that our symbol is a rainbow. I don't know, I just think it's, it's not my style, but for some reason I gravitated toward this, so I got it. But anyways, the first thing I got was this Keith Haring book, and I got it for Donnie because he really likes Keith Haring. And we're also curating our shelves in the back. See those books up there? 
I feel like this is a good addition to our Vitsu shelves. It's a very cool book. Like I said, I got this at Barnes and Nobles and the prices are pretty much set in stone based off of what the book cost. And here it says 55. And so a lot of times Amazon will actually have books for a lot cheaper. So I got all those on Amazon for much less. But on Amazon, they didn't actually have this color listed. It was like a green one and we already have too much green going on here and it was only like $50. So not much of a price difference there. So I decided to just go ahead and grab this guy. And then another thing that I purchased there was a magazine for myself and it's a photography magazine. And it says, we make pictures in order to live. I don't know, I thought that was cool. I love the color. Um, I haven't really got to look over this yet, but it is from Aperture, I think. And then we hopped over to H&M because the pajamas I bought at Macy's, I'm actually gonna return them. I think they're freaking hideous. I just bought it like desperation purchase. <laughs> but I actually despise them. So, but there was a few things I bought at H&M too, which I don't normally shop at H&M just because I feel like their clothes are, I guess they're considered fast fashion, which is not really good for the environment, but they have lines there that are actually better made. Um, and so that's when I will purchase from them. This one I got is a shirt for Puerto Vallarta and it's like a towel texture. I normally hate this texture for shirts, but I feel like if you're poolside or at the beach, this might be cute to just throw on to dry off or walk back to the hotel or something. So I got this, this was $30. I don't know, I think this might look good at a resort. We'll see, like in theory it makes sense, but in reality, I don't know if that'll work. But in my head, I just have a picture of me getting out of the pool, throwing this on and walking back to the hotel. <laughs> Giving it like a white lotus moment, you know? And then I thought this was actually really cute. This is like my favorite buy from there. And these were $24.99 and they're just shorts, but they have this super cute ribbed texture on it. And you can actually dress it up or down. I feel like it would look cute with some black loafers to dress up or like sandals, like Birkenstocks to dress down. I'll probably bring this to Mexico as well. So that was my quick little haul from the other day. Yeah, so when I got back, I just rushed to get ready to go to Don's, my mother-in-law, AKA mom, <laughs> her brunch for her dinner, I mean birthday, and it was delicious. We went to King's Fish House in Mission Valley and I got the miso sea bass, miso glazed sea bass, so good. And then the next day was content day for me. It was Sunday and I had to film content for a bedding company. Um, let me show you guys what we ended up getting because I think the color is cute. They're linen sheets and they are this moss green color that I really love. Uh, let me show you guys how it looks though. All right guys, actually another quick update. We ended up adding an artwork right here. We've been meaning to put this up, so I figured it's a good time to put it up. We actually got this at a thrift store. One of our best friends helped us find it and curate it. The bed sheets are looking good. So I think I'm gonna take photos right now since it looks pretty pristine. Brought in a cactus from the outside just to give it a nice touch because we have our Joshua Tree book right here. All right, looking good. Okay, so I've been seeing these parachute sheets all over the internet and I just had to try them out for myself. I mean, how amazing could bed sheets really be, right? Wrong. These are insane. They're the most comfortable sheets I've ever felt. I got them in linen because I'm a hot sleeper and I've been sleeping like a baby ever since. They're also unbelievably soft and super durable, which isn't common for linens. I have a feeling I'm going to have these for a long, long time. <sighs> okay. All right, so anyways, um, that was the content I created. Uh, I think the client really liked it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the workday started. It is about eight o'clock right now. And during my lunch, I'm actually gonna go to CarMax. Uh, I have Donnie's car with me and I'm gonna take it to get an estimate. His car is about 11 or 12 years old now. It has about 120,000 miles on it. So we're just kind of thinking ahead that he's gonna need a new car soon. And just to kind of see what our options are. Like I'm actually really proud of us for holding on to that car for so long. It was a good car. It got him to and from work. 
very reliably, no major issues. I think it's time he gets a new car, because it's been a while. Also though, later after work, when he gets home, we are gonna check out a, another camper van. This one is by Winnebago and it's called the Revel. And it's a little bit on the shorter side of a camper van, a class B van, so it could also act as a daily driver. So that could be an option too. So I guess what I'm trying to say is our two options would be one, buy him a new car, or two, look into this Sprinter van, this Winnebago Revel, to act as both a daily driver, but also like a weekend warrior kind of vibe. I'm hoping that all makes sense. In my head it makes sense. Saying it out loud, I don't know, but that's the plan for today. So yeah, but I will check in with you guys later regardless. All right guys, we just got done with CarMax. It was a pain-free, really easy process to get an estimate for the car, and it came out to $9,000, which it's not great, but not terrible. I was hoping for at least 10,000. I think we might, I think we actually might move forward with it. I think we might actually move forward with it because, oh my God. So I think we're gonna move forward with it just because Don needs a new car. And before anything else breaks on this car, like the timing belt's about to go, his transmission isn't the best. So I think we're gonna do it. All right guys, a new setting over here. We are now in my car and we are on our way back to CarMax. Donnie's behind me driving to, driving his Honda. Um, he decided he just wants to sell it. And then after that, we're gonna go check out uh, Winnebago Revel over in La Mesa RV, which is close to CarMax. So we're just gonna take a look and, <clears throat> and then go from there. Also, I, I realized that like, this might seem like an erratic decision, but we've actually been talking about getting him a new car for the last two years. So it's not like we just woke up today and we're like, oh, let's sell your car. No, it's something we've been talking about and thinking about. Bye, bitch. Here's the car. Bye. You sad? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm good. I'm not sad. Peace. <laughs> All right, car dropped off. They said the process is gonna take about an hour and a half. So we're gonna head over to La Mesa RV to check out the van. Donnie's driving. All right, this is the one that we're looking at. It has a body wrap. <laughs> has the upgraded tires. It has this hood wrap right here. Let's go look inside. All right. So they say this is uncomfortable, but it's an easy upgrade. You just buy the new seats. This is an easy upgrade as well. These chairs turn. Pretty dope. Sink, bathroom. This bathroom can double as storage if you don't want to intend to use it as a bathroom. I feel like we would just pee in here. And in the back, this bed here comes down. And when it's up, this is, they call it a garage. So you can store stuff back here, bikes. Mm -hmm. More storage, bunch of storage up here. Storage, I think this might be like a little mini pantry. Yep. Ooh, excuse me. It has a spare tire cover on it. That gives you a, an area to load it. Yeah. You can bring the bed up and down. Oh, cool. You have this van up step. This is an add on, right? Yes, add on, yeah. Span up. That's our company that we uh, started a few years ago. Alright, guys, we are gonna test drive <laughs> the fucking Winnebago Rebel. Donnie's driving, we're waiting for the guy to get back, Where's the break? but it's pretty fucking sick. You can, I mean, can you see back there at all, really? Uh, no, yeah, we're good. 
You guys want to try a, a little bit of freeway too? Uh, no, the street's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once we, the street's harder than the freeway. So yeah, we'll do streets. So take a uh, right out of here. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's easy to drive. It's, it's easy, but it's different. It's, it's different from driving a cord. Yeah, a little Honda. <laughs> I gotta get used to that. Oh yeah. Next stop sign, let's take a right. Okay. We just kind of bought a camper van. Um, holy shit. I mean, we have 24 hours to think about it, but we did put a deposit in and it's technically sold. And as long as we don't call tomorrow and say we're out, it's ours. But we're just gonna crunch some numbers tonight just to make sure that this is something we really want and can do. Donnie test drove it. We are going to just figure it out tonight. But we bought a camper van, holy shit. What the fuck? It's the next day and we're actually gonna go to a coffee shop to work today. I am wearing my vintage Tommy Hilfiger windbreaker. I feel like a freaking student with my backpack. <laughs> but my friend's picking me up and we just need a little change of pace. So we're gonna work out of a coffee shop today. Also, we have until four o'clock today to decide if we are gonna go through with the camper van, the Sprinter, the uh, Winnebago Revel. We are, we crunched some numbers last night and I think when I get home, I'll, I'll kind of chat with you guys about what we talked about. All right, but let's go to school, school. All right, we're at the Friendly. The best burger in town. Two patties, flat top, 80 20 meat, delicious. Mmm. Delicious. Onion rings. What's 80 20? Ah, all right, guys. Hello. We're back home. We ended up, oh, as you saw, obviously, eating at the Friendly after we worked at Coffee and Tea. It's a coffee shop over in North Park. Friendly burgers are literally the best burgers. They were featured in a lot of YouTubers' videos for like best burgers in San Diego. So if you guys are in town, you should definitely check them out. There's actually two locations in North Park. As I was saying earlier too, before we left, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Winnebago Revel and we have decided after crunching some numbers yesterday, that we are going to move forward with purchasing it. I know it's it's a big deal, it's a big investment, but I don't know, we just really, we think it's going to be good for us and for the dogs and overall just our well-being and I don't mean well-being, I mean just overall our happiness I guess is what I'm trying to say, to be able to go out and venture together with the dogs and yeah, kind of just reconnect that part of our um, relationship where we would travel and be adventurous because I've mentioned it before in the vlogs that me and Donnie would travel all the time and since COVID, since buying this house and just everything in between, we haven't been able to travel. Like I was thinking about it, Donnie hasn't traveled since 2018 and keep in mind we were traveling twice a year at the very least. So it's something that's been missing in our lives, the adventure. So yeah, we decided let's just do it. We are scared, um, but very excited. And we know that it is somewhat of a risk to invest in something this expensive, but we just want to make sure to get the best use out of it and make sure that we just enjoy ourselves because, you know, Don also said life is short. He works so much. Yeah, this is something that we'll be able to take out on a weekend or just even during the weekday if we want to just go to the beach and just hang out for the night or yeah. We'll see, but I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with us. It's not really a van life channel, but obviously it's going to be a big part of my life and a part of the vlog as well. So yeah, in the next vlog, we're probably going to take delivery of the Winnebago Revel. They're going to call me today actually to finalize everything, set up a date for the orientation because you obviously have to learn how to work the rig and they said that takes about two to three hours, so yeah. And obviously they have to prepare it to make sure everything's working. Yeah, we're excited and just wanted to share that with you guys. But I think I might end the vlog here because, ooh, my head's getting tired. 
Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you can, try to choose happy over sad today, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.